Good morning, YouTube. As you can see, we're making applesauce. here is just the root base on this particular tree was so saturated that it couldn't support its own weight and it uprooted now in the process of this uprooting it actually split several of the big weeds that come off the bottom and then the root ball itself it severed some of its its main roots pretty good so I had thought maybe I could stand this back up but after taking a good look at it I'm not going to be able to save this one. No more apple tree. But there was a crap ton of apples to pick up. Well, it's raining. Kind of yucky. But we got two more we're going to do today, so let's do it. Anybody needs some apple for smoking? I got a lot of it. All right, here we are in job number two. And we're actually returning to this particular job. Here's what's left over from last time we was here. But there is a pine tree in the back corner. And... Uh, this tree was, it was kind of an emergency job. We had to get it out pretty quick. It was, uh, it had a real hard lean right toward the direction we're walking. And it was split right up the back side. You can see where it was split in the stump. I mean, it was split clear through, but it, it was split all the way up, maybe about six, seven feet. So when we did that one, I put a couple ratchet straps around it, just suck it together and I climbed up there and kind of skinnied it up a little bit and then I dropped that thing down but what we're doing today is the second part to this job we got to work on this maple the limb here on the back comes up over the house and all this they want all that removed I wasn't quite a, a proponent for that for that much material to come out of this tree because it just doesn't leave it very balanced. But it should be okay. So I'm going to work on this thing. I got quite a bit in here, but we should be able to chip all that. And then uh, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to empty the truck, come back and pick up all the logs. Because our truck's already half full of chips from an apple tree. Well, let's get set up here and I may or may not need rigging. I'm going to try and do it without any rigging. See what happens. We're making pretty good progress here in this job. We, uh, there was two leads here. And we got one of them out completely. There's my clip for my camera. Oof. I dropped it. Uh, here, let me go around the other side and let you guys take a look. So this has been kind of a pain in the butt because we got the deck and the house that we're working with, but we, uh, we're we doing good. We're taking our time. We're in no rush at all. We had some tables with glass tops, but we had a big lead here. This this thing came way up. I mean, it was way out here over the over the roof and everything. That's all gone. But all that's left, I've got, I've got one here, 
and then I got these couple on top and then we can take this whole big thing out and the plan is and we're gonna set this up here in a second but we're gonna put we're gonna put a porter wrap on the tree right about here just above the deck railing and then I'm gonna go way up high put a block in there because this stem here is pretty beefy it's solid it'll hold the weight of this suspended off of it so I'm gonna tip tie this and uh, all I've got is half inch rope but you know what we're not putting we're not putting any force on it, so it'll be fine. But we'll rig probably, I don't know, 15 foot section right off of there. And once it's cut free, it's gonna come back against this. So we'll be beyond this deck railing and we can set it down right out here. But first thing we gotta do is chip some brush, give ourselves some room, and we'll get that porter wrap set up. And uh, we'll get on out of here and go on to the third one for the day. We've been pretty blessed to have a really good year. We've been busy. There's a there's a lot in the schedule still. I think I got 14 jobs booked currently and then uh, half a dozen quotes awaiting approval, I hope. We'll see what happens. Um, oh, and also another good piece of news that I'm really excited to share with everybody. We, we've been, um, we're now an accredited business with the Better Business Bureau, which is a big deal for us. I'm, I'm very excited for that. Uh, it's it's taken a lot of work to get us to the point where we're at now, but our customers trust us. They know that uh, what we say is what they get. We deliver on our promises. We're there on time. If things happen, we communicate like, hey, we can't be here. Uh, if there's issues with the weather, uh, whatever it is. I mean, we do everything the best we can to make sure that our customers are fully aware of what's going on and they're in, uh, we're in touch and they appreciate that and it, you know honestly it makes my job a lot easier so that stump back there's got to get ground out too this is a good job the next one we're going to head to uh we already did half of it and and what it basically was is we was deadwooding and kind of pruning kind of not pruning a bunch of maples just trying to clean some things up a little bit so we'll get to that one here in a little bit after this and get that finished up as well and that'll be three jobs today done. Uh, depending on what time it is, there's a fourth we could do. But uh, I'll probably save it for another day. I don't want to be out here all day long. It's been a long week. Saturday. I'm ready to go home, start a fire, cook some on a grill, relax. But let's get some stuff set up. Try and tie this up. Ooh, I don't need to tie it up. Yeah. All right. So let me show you how this thing goes on here. It's actually very simple. There's several ways to tie it, depending on how girthy your tree is this one's pretty small so we're going to tie this uh using a cow hitch with a better half hitch and i want this to be out here because this will keep us most directly in line free of all obstruction from here to our block and then it allows jay uh plenty of room straight behind him to be out of the way and see everything that's happening but throw this rope around the tree All right, kind of position this where I want it. It's right about here, I think. Now we want to come underneath and let this hang. That simple. Then go backwards, the opposite direction. Keep your rope above the other. Don't cross them and get underneath. And try and keep it tight so you have as little play in here as possible now once we get back to this point we want to take the tail of our rope and we actually want to tuck it back inside this loop that we just made okay so we'll tuck that in there and that's it now the better half hitch we want to come backwards in the opposite direction you don't want to keep 
going the same way, you want to come back again. So basically, you're weaving this. But you'll come back all the way around and then tie your tail in through that loop you just made. And if you have enough, tie a second one and it's going to hurt. And then just tuck this out of your waist so you don't got to deal with it. That's it. So we're working on top of this deck and we don't have a whole lot of room. It's maybe only about seven feet from the house to the edge of the deck or the edge of the deck there. And I just took a monster top out of here for that that area. So he's got it tied off on the porter wrap down there. He's gonna cut some pieces off so we can make some room, but oh man, we uh saved a lot of time climbing around trying to piece it out. Just we had the room to clear, you know, for this thing to flop. But now we're messing with that. But my next step, I guess, I'm gonna set this block up probably right there where I'm tied in at. Um, I'll set it just below my tie-in point. And then we'll take this piece out that I'm standing on. We'll take the whole thing. I'll tip tie this. And then I'll cut that on a big angle, like a slash cut. And then we can bring it straight down. And, uh, then we'll work this top out of here. We got a couple pieces that I can handle by hand, I think. We got all kinds of room here now. But we're getting there, a little bit at a time. All right, let's do a little walk around here because we are done. Uh, I'll have my guy come in grind this stump here. And then there's a stump back here he's got to grind. This is all cleaned up best we could. But here, here we go. We got that limb off the deck, out from over the house. And uh, got all that cleaned up real super good. They already put it all back together. They got their tables out. and They put their plants back. Now we gotta go back to my house because I got a guy there taking down one of my trees. Funny how that works. But uh, he's got some brush we gotta get chipped up. So let's go do some more. I have another tree guy doing a tree guy's tree. Yeah.